You know, Kenyans are so welcoming. They are very, very welcoming. They are very humble people and they tend to like hanging around with the visitor. In Zimbabwe, people are hardworking, but the level of hard work this side, uh, it's, it's, it's serious. It's good to another level. Yeah, it's serious. You know, their business is like, you know, shoe shiny. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. um, people don't do it. Ah, there's this day, during my attachment, I was so late. Mm -hmm. yeah? And uh, with me, I had 20 bob, and I needed something that would take me fast to the campaign. I just met this guy with a bicycle, he's like, 20 or 9 hours, and then I'm like, I'm going to, to Coca-Cola, mm -hmm. like 20 bob or 20, 20. Mm -hmm. So I felt this one is more faster than if I just walk yeah. to that place, judging from my wallet. So I had to just board and go. It, there's nothing bicycle. like that in Zimbabwe. Bicycle. We, we haven't even reached to the Piki Piki. Because yes. Piki Piki is in Zimbabwe, they're not for, for public use. Yeah, it's only for private use. Oh. Yeah. We have many of them. This side, there are a lot. Yeah, thank you so much. Today we have um, a guy who's not a Kenyan and we really want to know more about what he's doing in the country and uh, where he comes from, his name and a lot of things from him. So today we are going to start and uh, he's going to give us a lot about him. We basically don't know him, so he'll introduce himself and tell us something. Welcome, Dubu. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh... Okay, uh, my Just tell us your name. Yeah. All right. Uh, my name is Melulegi Dube. Melulegi. Melulegi Dube. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm from Zimbabwe, from the city of Bulawayo. From Zimbabwe, the city of? Of Bulawayo. Bulawayo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm, a, I'm from the tribe of the Ndebeles. Ndebeles. Yep, yep. All right. Uh, Many tribes in Zimbabwe? Yeah, we have a lot of tribes, but uh, personally, I think um, I know around three. That is Shona, mm -hmm. that's the majority tribe. Shona? Yeah, mm -hmm. Debele, mm -hmm. and we have uh, the Tongas. The Tongas? Yeah. So, the majority? The majority is the Shona followed by the, the Debeles. All right. Yeah. That's very good. Thank you. So, you came to Kenya? I came when to Kenya. When was this? I, I think I came here 2016 September, beginning of September. 2016 September? Yes, yes. Some, uh, some uh, four years down the line? Yeah, four years, four, four years. Four years or so? Yeah. Yeah, so how did you know about Kenya and Baraton, maybe to say? Okay, it happened that after my A level studies, mm -hmm. I was now looking for a college that I can pursue my uh, degree. So I, I then, I thought of an Adventist university that is not in Zimbabwe. That means you have, must have grown in a university setting. It, I mean, I mean, an Adventist. It, university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was looking for a university, an Adventist university, that is not in Zimbabwe. So what happened is I then asked around. Uh, I I have friends that joined earlier. So they told me that this is a good Adventist university. I can come and uh, pursue my studies here. That's when I had to apply and I got the admission letter. Okay. I came decide to to Kenya to study. So you came here purposely to study? Purposely to study. Okay, so that yeah. means immediately you're done, you're going back home. It's, it's not my wish. You know, as you study, you then tend to realize the benefits of being in Kenya, maybe as compared to being at home. So then you, I wouldn't wish to then straight after my studies, I just go back home. Maybe if God willingly I get some internship or I continue with my masters, or I find a job this side and, and, and work. Cause with me, Kenya has proven to be a good country that I can settle and, uh, and live. 
Yeah, it's good to know that. Yeah. Now, um, what are you doing in, in the University of Eastern Africa? Okay, I'm studying business management and a minor in uh, economics. Business management? And a minor in economics. Minor in economics. Yeah. What has been your experience since you came? I think it's down for some four years down the line. Um, you're asking in terms of the academic side or generally everything? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm sure you, from your country, you've come and you must have seen some new things, some, some strange things to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, how has been your experience in Baraton, that is? Is it something you enjoy? Is it something you, you don't even... I mean, tell us your experience. No, I, I won't run away from the fact that in every community, we 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 have the good things that you can get from the community and the bad things. But I won't necessarily speak about the bad things. Let me just talk about the good experience that I, I, I found here. Um, you, you know, Kenyans are so welcoming. They are very, very welcoming. They are very humble people and they tend to like hanging around with a visitor not only speaking of a foreign but even the you know this area is mas mostly populated by the Kalenjins if if i'm not wrong but you see the way the Kalenjins are treating other people from other tribes yeah generally i i think i've realized that kenyans are, are so welcoming and secondly you know life decides is so fast and it, at the same time, it's cheap. You know, you don't you don't struggle. So fast and cheap. Yeah, so fast and cheap. Like you don't you don't struggle in Kenya. Uh -huh. If with your twenty bob you you can go and eat and sleep. Yeah, you know. Those are good things that I've, I've found in in Kenya. And the other thing is. Um, uh, let me say the way you you eat some things, you know. The first, my first experience. Let me talk of my first experience. I remember it was December holiday. I I went to 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 Kaf to serve, so it, it was supper time. Yeah. Then they told us that I today we are giving you the privilege of serving yourselves, and then I <laughs> I took I think two scoops of matoke. In my mind, I thought it was a potato soup, you know? Yeah. Like, ah, let me just take the potato soup and eat. So now eating, I realize it's a banana. Like, ah! <laughs> you guys, you also cook bananas this side. Don't you do it the other side? No, we don't. We don't, we don't cook something bananas. New to you. It was something new, totally new you to do, me. You only do potatoes, eh? Potato soup and, and saucy and other things, but banana soup. Like, what's this? And then I say, no, this is my toke. You know, there's a special type of banana that you use to cook. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, oh, oh. You're used to the other one that is ripe, eh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> the one that I eat as a fruit. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, uh, something very new to you. Very strange. Yeah. Very strange. Do you still enjoy it today? No, I only took it once. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. But I remember during attachment, you know, that period of attachment, you don't tend to be choosy because mm -hmm. of uh, financial constraints. You get it? you you tend to save even a, a 10 bob you tend to find the value in that so what happened is this lady she called me and said uh, tonight come and eat supper at my place <laughs> i went there she had cooked uh, my token i couldn't tell her that hey no me i i cannot take my that was your second day meeting matoke yeah i cannot i cannot eat matoke but you know I'm a visitor and I felt maybe she would think that I'm um, yeah, yeah, sure. pride, you know. So she she just said, no, today we are just eating rice and matoke. But that day that matoke was nice because she had added some meatballs inside. So you know the meat aspect it then changed everything. Yeah. <laughs> so it had it had to change everything. I felt it was nice, I enjoyed it. From then, I never, I don't, I don't think there's a day I had to eat my talk. You have not given in since then? Nope. Now you have a two-week scenario where you've met my talk. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah. no, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. So I think uh, it, it's good to know that you've uh, had some beautiful experience. In yeah, and and also the other thing, I had a privilege to do business this side. Mm -hmm. Those small hustles that you do, because I realized that Kenyans are, are hardworking. You know, Kenyans are hardworking. They they really work hard. So. Uh, I, I, I started with my friend, it was during December holiday 2018. 2018. Right? Yeah, 2018. We, we were farming chickens. Mm -hmm. So we started with 50 broilers and then later on the second batch it was now 100 broilers. Mm -hmm. We used to keep them that side at the farm, at the school farm. And then I realized that, you know, people were like, ah, you guys. You're students and you're working this hard and then lecturers would be just buying summer vegetarians. But the fact that you, you are proven to, you want to, to generate your own income, so they tend to say, no, let me buy, let me support your business, let me support your business. That's what also I, I, I think I learned from this side, that you don't need to depend from your parents, you know, every time you're waiting for pocket man, you know. So that's what I also learned from you've from uh, you've, 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 you've told us that uh, Kenyans are very, very, very hardworking. Yeah, yeah. Does that mean in Zimbabwe people are not very hard? Working? No, in Zimbabwe people are hard working, but the level of hard work this side, uh, it's 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 serious. It's going to another level. Yeah, it's serious. You know, their business is like you know shoe shiny. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. um, people don't do it. Ah, uh, there's this day during my attachment, I was so late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and. Uh, with me, I had 20 bob, and I needed something that will take me fast to the company. I just met this guy with a bicycle, he's like 20 or 9 hours, and then I'm like, I'm going to, to Coca Cola, mm -hmm. like 20 bob or 20 20. Mm -hmm. So I felt this one is more faster than if I just walk yeah. to that place, judging from my wallet. So I had to just board and go. There's nothing bicycle. like that in Zimbabwe. Bicycle. We, we haven't even reached to the Piki Piki because yeah. Piki Piki is in Zimbabwe, they are not for, for public use. Yeah, it's only for private use. Oh. Yeah. We have many of them. This side, there are a lot. You've been to Nairobi? Yep, yeah. Nairobi is the fastest town we have around. Yeah, yeah. And people don't sleep that side. <laughs> It's possible. Uh -huh. Personally, I don't like Nairobi because of the speed yeah. and the level at which people are working. Uh -huh. Some people might be very lazy in a way. But I'm telling you, Nairobi. Well, you've been to Nairobi? Yeah, I've been to you Nairobi. There for some time? No, not really. I just slept there one night. Because mm -hmm. usually when I'm coming from home, coming to school, mm -hmm. I tend to sleep that side and then board to this place the following day. So you've only slept in Nairobi once? Yeah, only once. You need to, you need, you need to get to Nairobi. Probably if I'm done with school, that's when I'll think of yeah. maybe staying there maybe for, stay a month, even for a month. Right? Yeah, 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 but that's true. You can experience your life. That's, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah. So some of us are thinking, uh, if, if, if by God's grace, mm -hmm. we we'll wish to get to know how the Zambians are doing and how do you do your thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can come over that side. Because uh, Zimbabwe, we hear, you are talking about 20 shillings and then you're good. <laughs> so how much is uh, 20 shillings in, uh, in, 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 in Zambian currency? Equivalent, that is. Uh, I hear people, you have a lot of money there. <laughs> you know, if you go to the economic side, huh, it will be then hard. I don't want to surprise people. <laughs> <laughs> but we, 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 I know of that room, I know everywhere you go, people tend to say, ah, I hate you guys, you, you used to go and buy bread, mm -hmm. pushing a wheelbarrow full of money and stuff like that. No, but it, 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 it happened that this this year, it was I think around 2008, 2007 there, we, we had serious inflation. Mm -hmm. And our money, our currency lost its value. 